Welcome to Freshly for Animated. Well, this is a, a container serving as the camera, and inside we have our animation. If I say I would like to see if this little vertical pan while the ducks are leaping in the air would look better if it's a few frames longer, I can add a couple of frames so it happens a little bit slower and what I end up with, these three will get out of sync. As you can see 295 and now this is 297 and so on. Now, the quickest way to fix this would be to press slash and we're back in sync. All these little retimings can be done and fixed with a single press of a button. Same thing happens on the inside. If we have facial expression animation inside the head symbol, all the facial expressions blinks and, and so on, they're always synced to the main timeline of the animation. If we'd like to retime a little portion here and there, all that we need to do, if we want this to be slower, I'll push it a few frames to the right and then the head, the head would be off sync as you can see 345 and 342 here. So to bring it back to sync, I'll press forward slash. If I need to adjust the blinking or the change of facial expression on the inside, I'll have to add a couple of frames here. What we have here on the screen are these three numbered symbols which run in sync. We can just add a bunch of keyframes to one of these symbols and if you remember the classic sync symbols to timeline basically does that it syncs the symbol so that uh, the number displayed by the symbol here in the keyframe matches the current timeline so when you move keyframes to the left or to the right you run into sync issues like in this case here with the yellow circle we're out of sync we're at frame 13 but we see frame 7 and here uh, we see frame 23 so the normal sync when i press the shortcut key for sync symbols to timeline it will just sync all these offset keys now what sync with offset does is it allows us to give a certain offset and then maintain it so if i press the alt plus forward slash it pops up this dialog and i can now give an offset of two and press ok as you could see all these keyframes were marked that they have the offset of plus two and now if I move these in any way like this now they will be off sync but the moment I select them and press the normal sync command this plus T offset will be maintained so now when I resync the command knows that these should always be at plus two as you can see 35 and 37 and 42 and 44 so if i move this one here and sync just with the normal sync symbols to timeline it will sync with plus two now i can choose these three and give them a different offset so let's uh, call the dialog again this time i'll give them minus two say okay now this one is on minus two and you can see the labels were updated as well 
so I can move them here offset them in any way and if I resync the whole layer the ones with the plus two offset will still have the plus two offset and these ones will have the minus two what else if I'd like to create more keyframes convert to keyframe advanced will add labels so that we know that these are offset keys and if we would like to remove the offset we just call the dialog again by pressing the alt plus forward slash and we press the remove offset button Freshly flanimated. animated.